So first what we're gonna do is go ahead and prep a side of the abdomen here. So you choose either the right or the left. So this is a wide, a wide prep. Next we'll go ahead here and we'll put our, our drape on. We're, we're gonna choose our probe. Notice here that I'm choosing the cardiac probe, which is the low frequency transducer, so that I have farther depth to look down on. A little lidocaine down. I also want to know the top, so I'm looking here at the at the uh, knob button, and that corresponds to up this way. So now I'm going to take a look, and we'll look for a spot that I think would be good. And actually, I see a spot right here. And if you look at the screen here, you can see what I'm looking at. Um, and actually, up here is a little bit better, to where if I look from here to here and then go over to the side, I have about an eight centimeter pocket right here. So this is, that's where I'm going to go right here to correspond to that. I could try to move around if I want and get a different area, but they're all relatively similar and I'm going to choose this one because it's a little deeper, you know, right at this area here. Okay. For the next part of this procedure, I want to make a special note before I do it and that is the concept that if I were to stick my needle straight into the abdomen in one move, what could happen is, is that after I drain off fluid, there could be a track to allow continuous fluid to come out. So what you want to do is try to find a way that your nick in the skin is a little separate from where it's going to go into the tissue down below. And there's a few different ways to do it. One way to do it is simply to come in at an angle, and they call this a Z, to where you come in this way. And so your, your puncture would be here through the skin, and then maybe your puncture here on the abdomen would be farther down, and that would create kind of a tract to prevent the fluid from coming up. What you'll see me do is exaggerate it a little bit. I'm gonna make my nick in the skin, I'm gonna put my uh, needle in, and then I'm gonna push the needle up a little bit and exaggerate that, and then angle, and then go in. So the concept there is to further exaggerate the skin puncture and the abdomen puncture site so you have less chance of having that leak. Okay, so there are two different ways to do this. You can do this live or after you find out where you want to go, you could mark the skin. I'm going to do it live. So I have my live spot right there. I'm going to go in and I'm going to, with a small pinch, get my wheel. And I see a bit of a wheel there. And then I'm going to track down a little more in the areas that I'm going to be and numb up a little farther. And you could also use this to pull back too and see when you get in. So right there I got in because I can see some yellowness coming. So I can check a depth. And I'm going to come back here with the whole track. What I do now is to know where I want to go in is I leave the needle there for a second. And I'm leaving the needle there, then I come in here and I'm going to make a small nick. That's good enough for this procedure for a small nick. So I just need enough for this one for the the tip to go in. So here, as we spoke about, I'm gonna stick my needle in. Now I'm through the skin, and as we spoke about here, you can see me lifting the skin up, and now I'm also gonna angle in furthermore a little bit. So now I'm pulling back on the syringe, and I'm waiting to get in. There I'm in, and now when I've confirmed that I'm in, I stop advancing so I don't hurt the bowel. And what I can do here now is I slide off the catheter. So the concept there is that the needle tip can hurt someone, so once you get in, you stop. So now I pause there for a second, and the next part of the step here is I go ahead And I'm going to use vacuum container bottles for this. So I'm going to hook up. Notice here that this stopcock is off right now, so it's off up. You can leave it off for a second until after I get my bottle. Perfect. We'll rest the bottle here. And then what we'll do is we'll step the top clock and turn it so now it's on. And then we're, we have what we have. And then occasionally you might need to manipulate this if it gets up against the bowel. 
to have it come out. And we allow it to drain and that's it.